Welcome back to Dead Rising 4. This is episode 20. <laughs> Boy, I don't get it. Like, oh, 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 oh. Four, there you go. <laughs> there you go. This is Dead Rising Blazing, motherfuckers! Oh my god, are you okay? That was so funny, dude. Alright. Hell yeah. I think I'm gonna need that, cause this chapter fucking blows, dude! Like, it sucks! Reaching that point of no return in chapter 5? That's nothing. But now we don't have a camera, so what could possibly be left of the game? I don't imagine a whole lot. There isn't much left. And I'm not really gonna tell you how much it is actually left. But it's a surprising amount. How about the gift shop? There's a couple stores I forgot to look in just to show off that we have a few costumes it that we can I show. Oh, we're already doing the Capcom Heroes portion? Primarily, yeah. Like, I don't understand why one of these costumes exists, but then again, I remember they were included before Capcom Heroes was officially a thing. So you can find a Zero costume in one of the arcades in Kachiro Plaza. And in one of the other stores, hopefully I remember to crossfade, you can find a base costume. Have no fears! It doesn't have any abilities because Capcom Heroes didn't exist yet, but this entire Street Fighter store has a bunch of different <sighs> shirts. I actually really want this sweater. If this was a real thing, I'd totally buy it. Like, it feels like... Again, we get it. Capcom references. I think they focused a bit too much on that and not enough on everything else. Do you remember any of the Capcom references from Dead Rising 1? There were like a couple and they were really subtle, like Jill's sandwiches. Jill's sandwiches. Uh, you had the Mega Man movie posters. Yeah. It is my color! And that's... it. I think. I mean, there, there's definitely more that I'm forgetting. Well, the little Servbot helmet, obviously. Yeah. Servbot helmet, that's a, that's an obvious one. Uh, Dead Rising 2, it, they didn't have much either. Just just kind of peppered here and there, though. Yeah. Ooh, and and wow. when you found them, there was like, oh, cool. That's a thing. It's getting to the point, though, where it's like, oh, look at all these Capcom games. Look at all these better games I could be playing instead of this one. Even Dead Rising 3 didn't do it that much. Like, you had to work for that Mega Man X outfit. I don't know, it, it, it would be kind of weird if they saw the success of Ultra Dead Rising 3 Arcade Remix and thought, we can make an entire game out of that. So Vic, you were here for how long? Four weeks. Four weeks? Four weeks, goddamn. Yep, still alive. Funny joke. Very few scars. That was a great conversation we just had there, Vic. I'm glad we had that, and I'm glad this was optional. And that's it. Just kinda... You know, just kinda... Well, that forwarded the plot so much. Yep. Alright, it's time to, uh... It's time to escape, actually. So what do you think is actually going to happen in this escape sequence? So, did your heart grow through I'm gonna check out. No, I mean in-game. I know what you're going oh, to do, oh, but oh, what do you oh. think is going to happen in the game? Uh, pff, there's going to be a big horde of zombies, and we're going to go, Let's get out of here! And Probably a driving sequence. Driving sequence? Oh, okay. God! An escort mission. Well, that's not a good sign already. Well, just a little bit. Thankfully, the AI is good enough for these guys where they just defend themselves. I mean, they have guns, so that's that's a good thing. Yeah, they have guns, but no sense of self-preservation. I mean, technically, we're following them. They're escorting us. <laughs> we are Zero the Maverick Hunter, so I, I think we can defend ourselves. We'll get out through the sky bridge. <laughs> have you ever played Maverick Hunter X, by the way? Uh, no. I, ha I got Powered Up instead. Okay. <laughs> you know, I really want to play Powered Up just because of the new Robot Masters. But seriously, Maverick Hunter X is so Resident Evil 5, it hurts. <laughs> oh, Flame Mammoth! I can't trust you anymore! You've gone Maverick! <laughs> and I just... hunt Maverick, so... Ah! 
<laughs> They're just a maverick. End of story. That's basically what I was getting at. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so funny. And it's actually really fun. It's an updated uh, Mega Man X for the PSP, and it's great. So, you see what I mean about them or escorting us? We went too far away. Boy, a great uh, final sequence you got going on here. Hey, there we go. Sweet. So, here we go. Let's follow Brad and Vic. Meeting the helicopter on the roof of the parking garage. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, good. Nice and convenient. Brad Vickers from Resident Evil is a character. And, oh, don't, don't you dare, don't you no, dare, don't no, you dare no, do this to me, no. don't you dare do this to me. He was the, oh, wait, no, he wasn't the helicopter pilot. Actually, he was! He ran away in the helicopter in the first game! Bullshit! That's a dumb reference. At least he got killed by Nemesis. You know, I found that. When in doubt, your zombie franchise is starting to suck. Just insert some Jack Baker in there. De I, I need... I need... Bilbo Baggins here. And Jack Baker to get into a fight. Maybe insert a little Bill from Left 4 Dead. That would be a pretty good character. Have some snark from Bill Burr. It's pretty good. Please tell me that's all right. I need a vodka whiskey. And you know, start a soundtrack by William Tell. Shit. And a special forward by Bill Clinton. Holy shit! Wow. Okay. I'm going to show that frame in the end slate here, because there was one frame where nothing had a texture on it, except for... The, except for whatever I want to call this guy, because fuck the names. Alright, we got a desperate escape, let's kill zombies. Because we've got nothing else. Yeah, I, I have nothing left anymore, dude. Me neither. You know, I, I have, I have nothing left. I always thought it was going to be extremely difficult to do a series on Dead Rising 4 because the one thing I wanted was not constant vitriol, and I got that. I got a series where I looked at the good in a game because there is legitimate good, and I don't know, man. I took a look at our old series, and do you know how happy we were? I'm not happy. And I'm not the I'm not the type to put blame on a single person, so I'll put the blame on an entity. Dead Rising as a series is officially dead. There is no coming back from this. Even if you remade the first game, this game will always like poison my mind and think negatively about the series as a whole. My people won't let us down. We're getting out of here. You know what's crazy? Maybe we should take this time to reminisce on the good old days. That's actually something I was going to bring up. D okay, so here's something that is crazy. Okay. I went back and t took a listen to just random bits in our episodes of Dead Rising 1, 2, and 3. Dead Rising 1 was around the time when Dead Rising 3 came out. And I did not give it a fair chance. Yeah, I, I think I think we really messed up on that one. We really should have. Uh huh. It's, it's because we we bought into the trailers and the reviews saying it's not as fun, but there was fun to, ha to there was a lot of fun to be had. Mm -hmm. There really was. Yep. And surprisingly, over in Dead Rising 2, we admitted as much. In fact. Dead Rising 4 was just coming out during the Dead Rising 2 Let's Play. Where I forgave everything for Dead Rising 3, 
and openly admitted that Dead Rising 4 was a huge piece of shit. I have been complaining about this game for four, now five years. No, 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 no. Back to the good parts. Good parts. Nostalgia. Reminisce. We talked about the future of Dead Rising a lot in Dead Rising 3. Because, you know, 1 and 2, good stepping stones. 3 fixed a lot of issues, thank God. And we got a hell of a lot more mileage in Dead Rising 3 than I think we ever would have in 1 and 2. And, and you know, l let me give you some numbers, because I'm a numbers guy. Okay. L let me give you some numbers. I'm more of a Corinthians guy, but okay. Hey. I'm more of a Genesis individual <laughs> myself. I'm, I'm never an Exodus. So, I'm the guy that does all the numbers for both of our channels. You know, I, I love looking at numbers. Uh, the original Dead Rising was only 26 videos. And you can get through that entire series in less than 12 hours. Dead Rising 2, you know, a bit more... A bit more to that, that was basically three games and one Let's Play. That was 36 videos. But again, it only took about 18 hours to watch the entire series. The shit is a chopper! Dead Rising 3 was a huge chonky boy at almost 24 hours with 37 videos. They had a lot to, they had a lot in there. There was plenty to do in Dead Rising 3, and I was very excited on how that series ended. It couldn't have been any better. And that's all thanks to you, my friend. Well, all thanks, thanks. And me not having an Xbox One, I wouldn't have known about Dead Rising 3 if it weren't for you, so thanks for that. I really don't want to die! Uh, I'm just going to spoil it here. This is the finale of Dead Rising 4. What? What? This is the finale of Dead Rising 4. This is the end of the game. The game is going to end in one hour and... Uh, sorry, one minute and 31 seconds. W one minute? Oh my god. The game's over. I mean, I knew we had the final boss last time, but just, 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 just like that? Yeah, it's over. Really? It's over. Just keep it I mean, we're about to see the final cutscene of the game and the one last betrayal, and finding out that the real final boss wasn't Calder, it was Capcom Vancouver. <laughs> Capcom Vancouver not only killed my favorite franchise after improving it over two games, technically four, if you want to include, you know, the sub-games in Dead Rising 2, and then, just one final kick in the balls for the franchise. You know, let's go ahead and ruin the franchise because of so many ideas that they wanted to work but didn't work. They got screwed over by their higher-ups at Capcom Japan. So, what do they finally do? They decide, you know what, let's make this the best damn game ever, and let's advertise the hell out of it saying your favorite protagonist is back, even though he isn't. Asterisk. Like, this chaos that's happening right now, I'm loving it. Now, I know what's what's coming, though. I know what you're alluding to. Yep. Because it, it was the thing that you told me after you beat it. And just... The, the, the betrayal in your voice... And the disbelief that I felt. I, I just... Yeesh. Hey! Seven! Six! Six! Five! five four, four! Three! three two, two! One! one. Zero! Happy yep. New Happy Game! Happy New Game! Dead Rising 4 is done! Betrayal. Motherfucking betrayal. I know what happens, but I haven't seen what happens. Fucking stupid. I mean, how many more ways can I say betrayal? Uh, if you try, probably about a couple of dozen. This is the worst fucking ending anybody could have ever thought of. Let's go! How many of our wonderful gamers were just dumbfounded when they reached the ending of this shit heap and realized that the only reason they advertised Frank West was to do something horrific with him? Why not? They've already killed the franchise. Why not kill their headliner? Yep. Yep. Keep your eye on Price. Your eye on Price. I decided to do you all a favor and give you the actual death of Frank West. He's gone. Just... dead. Along with the rest of the series.
that's how this game ends. I'm like shaking in rage. I can't believe it. Uh, all that advertising just died with the rest of the zombies. And that's it. I don't know what to do right now. That's it. It's just over. If Frank could have it his way, this is where the story would And end. the only reason you're seeing, like, a canonical death with his actual outfit and everything, it's because this is the Capcom Heroes ending. Himself for the good of his friends. What? I he fixed the ending for you, Capcom Vancouver. I gave him the actual outfit. I made it so that you actually killed Frank West. He can't load it You fucks. Spicy embellishments. Listening to his notes... You absolute kind of asshole! The story would have gone when he told it later. Why would you advertise would you your main you character and the reason you made the game in the first fucking place, and then kill him? Had a sweet romance with the city engineer. I'm sure his second book would have. The worst decision I have ever seen in a game. Here to tell a story, so he's got to trust me to do it, whether he wanted it that way or not. And I say, the truth is better than fiction. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is how your Dead Rising 4 ends. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how the, the Dead Rising series goes out. What a waste of negative 12 hours. I don't know how long I spent on this game, far too much time, because I technically had to play it twice. But, here's your reward for beating the game. You get a zero exosuit, and for beating it in Capcom Heroes, you get the, sh the Shadow Frank costume, which is no different than the regular one. I did more in Capcom Heroes than I did in the main game, and I collected every blueprint in the main game. I just... I just don't give a shit. 73% of the game done. <laughs> dead! Oh, wait. Frank West is dead, and so is Dead Rising, thanks to Capcom Vancouver's asinine decisions. Yep. Yep. Nope. They killed it. They killed it. He's just dead. And that's it. When people played this game and beat it in one night on December 6th, 2016, so many people saw... It Frank West die. I mean, they already saw him die when they realized it wasn't the same guy, but now he's dead forever. He's just dead. So now, while these credits roll, I need to ask, viewers, what was your favorite name for this big faker? I'll go over them again. I'll put little graphics on there. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> we had Frank Waste, Frank Woost, Fork Test, Fink Rest, Freak Pest, Flake Webs, Flick Wicks, Fred Durst, Fast Whisk, Simple Flips, Feast Well, First Down, Fist Wrist, Fee Wee, Flop Water, Wank Fest, Front Health, Fine Wine, Flan Wash, and Bill. Make your tier list. Okay, here's my tier list. <laughs> God, and uh, you know what? I actually had a list of things I actually liked about Dead Rising 4. I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget them in this finale because I was going to be so angry. The upgraded exosuit is fun in the small bits you get to use with it. It goes along with the zaniness they wanted to use. Capcom references, even though there's so many of them, they actually did their homework for the costumes I cared about, like uh, Sissel and Amaterasu. The combo weapons are creative and fun, specifically Gandalf, Deck the Halls, the Ornament Gun, and the Nut Buster. The visual and audio cues, they're amazing, and just small quality of life fixes. It's the first Christmas game in a long time, it's plenty of music and color, and that stupid Servbot helmet, but that is everything I have good to say about this game. It's just ruined. This was... This was hard to get through, man. 
Like it, like, like it was, it, it seemed fun at the beginning, but then it just kept going. And it kept going. And it kept going. And it just didn't stop. I'm exhausted. And now we're here at the end, and it's like, for what? So you could have a shot character death? A colossal waste of my time, is what it was. Colossal waste of a studio. If that wasn't bad enough, just another nail in the goddamn coffin. We're not done yet! Pardon? Guess what they decided to add six months after the fact? What? Fucking paid epilogue! Excuse me, what? They charge ten fucking dollars for overtime mode! There's an epilogue? Well, how can there be an epilogue? He's dead. There's an epilogue! There's, there's, there's no epilogue. He's dead. What, 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 are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Just have have Frank, you know, five <sighs> minutes of going around with Frank West with his bottom half all torn up, you know, crawling around, and then he gets stomped on, and then that's the end? It was part of a season pass that they decided to prolong the game even more, adding more fuel to my fucking gas fire. It is a paid epilogue that was part of a season pass that added overtime mode. So many people were so fucking pissed like I was that they killed one of their favorite characters that they added more to the ending. This I didn't know about. Mm -hmm. See, Come on! Uh, you couldn't just let it die? <laughs> I think the part that fucking pisses me off the most is it's more fun than the main game! Oh, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> you pieces of shit! How could you possibly make paid DLC more fun than your main game? Kinda of wanna hug you right now. I like, didn't buy the season pass. I didn't I'm think giving, I'd have to. I'm, give, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a hug over Discord. Just, just, hey, buddy. Thanks. Okay. I'm trembling. It's okay. It's gonna, it's gonna be okay. I feel for you, man. God, these are slow credits. These are 15 minute credits. I, I sped it up for you. So, final rating. <laughs> Four out of ten. I think it's even worse for me now, now that I know what's coming up. I've already recorded the DLC. Thanks for the achievement, I guess. <laughs> Eyes on the prize. Or, or as uh, Bill said, Eyes on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was certainly Nisky the Salt, all right. That was, that was some salt. Yeah, so let's look at our stats here. Why don't we? This is the main profile I use for Let's Plays. It still says negative 12 hours. It won't, It cannot be fixed. <laughs> so, in 20 episodes, less time than it took to beat Dead Rising 1 and Let's Play it, need I remind you, we did 73% of the game, which is far too fucking much for me. Like, I didn't even mean to do this much, but I did. You know, I, I, I was gonna say, oh yeah, I'll, I'll 100% it if you... No, no, I'm I'm not. I just don't. Look don't at all want. that crap. And then we still have Capcom Heroes to deal with. Which had a much more satisfying ending in the fact that they rewarded you for playing through the game a second time. A hundred gamer wow. score for beating Capcom Heroes. And it, here's just a showcase of something I completely missed while playing through Capcom Heroes. Every single costume has a reference to it. It's just a fun little tidbit on what you're wearing. But the shadow costumes also have something extra. Darker look. Devil Hunter. Darker look for the costume in suit. Don't be tricked to running off of ledges. Menacing and powerful, the surge of killing intent awakened. Devil Hunter gonna get darker. The killer and the killer bee, bee and that carried the zombie virus. We can still Captain be used. Blue. They have mixed up the V watches. Anti ultimate Zangief anti Zangief weapon. weapon. Rule fist, the world with an iron fist. Ha, ha, Become a ha, walking ha, ha, punchline, ha, ha, ha. Gramps. Hell yeah. Magicians. 
to the pathetic weakling. <laughs> Sleeping survivors. Yeah. Meow. Meow. <laughs> You're not a vegetarian, are you? Try not to become a just fuck off. That wasn't <sighs> funny. The Amaterasu one. So here's our last costume. Shadow Frank. A shadow of his former self. That's it. That's your final reward for finishing everything in Capcom Heroes and for finishing the game. Okay, now he looks 52. I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm legit pissed off. And I think the worst part is, I did more in Capcom Heroes <laughs> than I did in the main fucking game. This is my main profile. 96%. You gotta just finish the seven trials, that's it. They're all grinding. Kill this many zombies with this, with this costume. You know, take selfies with every costume. It's just a chore. Man, I don't even want to do bonuses after this, because the next two episodes aren't any better. How could there be two episodes left? Does overtime mode really take that long? Of course it does. So next time on Dead Rising 4, we will be taking a look at Frank Rising, a.k.a. Paid Overtime Mode. Oh no, Frank Rising. Frank Rising?! What do you think that means? It means that we're gonna get even more angry. <laughs> oh, jeez, <laughs> man, man, come on. <sighs> okay, look, look, look. This episode of Dead Rising 4 is brought to you by Bill. Bill! Bill. Bill, he's been in a bunch of other games that I'd rather be playing. Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to cheer myself up. Give me this. <laughs>